Now, well, a lot of people believe when all the light heavyweights are at their best that Magomed Akalaev is the best in the world. Had that draw with Jan Bohovic, but no denying the accolades and the skills of one Magomed Akalaev. Oh, he's the boogeyman. This guy is the boogeyman. This guy keeps you up at night. This guy is Freddy Krueger. Right. Whenever you go to bed and your eyes shut, he can do everything. He's a tremendous striker, and if things start to go wrong in the striking room, he has unbelievable wrestling. He is as good as they come and seems to be a guy that's going to linger on the top of the light heavyweight division for a long time. Of course, he came perilously close to winning the title, that split draw with Jan Bohovic at UFC 282. Ankalaya with another huge fight in front of him here tonight. UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proving ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbula get in there between rounds. Little guy's <laughs> got a lot to say. <laughs> Habib Nurmagomedov. And he finds himself in another big spot here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If it is a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Magomed Agalada. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedown build on off of here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ankalaev. Nice shot there by the champ. He's a lot of good movement. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Khabib's back in full mount. Be able to hook onto an arm here. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. The arm bar is almost locked in. He's got to be very patient if he wants to get a finish. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Making all these shots count. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the kill guard. He passes the half guard. 
Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount here. Just over two minutes to go. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh. Under a minute now to go in round one. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Metal. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. Final seconds here. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Nermago Metal. Uh, round two straight ahead. Stop. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round number one. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this one. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. Here. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, no, 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 Oh! Big right hand. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down on his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. Nirvago Menos right back to the full mount. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Postures up and lands a brutal strike. Oh! oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Nurmagomedov. Yep, gotta be very careful there. A oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Ankalai. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Metal. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. 
beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. The cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the score between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front. Oh, Ten minutes oh. in the book. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now... He's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Huge oh, strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. All right, let's go. Let's get those nice hands. block. Both fighters throwing heat now. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. Mongo Medov is going for the sub here. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Oh, great reversal to top position by Nermako Medov. About two minutes here to go in round three. As usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Medov. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Ooh, he's setting up another submission now. What a tight arm bar. This has got to be it. He's got the submission. No way! He got it! This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the arm bar. The fight looked done, but he loves to fight on. He's got to be careful here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Khabib's back in full mount. Well, not good body language from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Massive shot from the top. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Deep breath. Relax. Excellent work on the ground. This guy cannot swim with you in those deep waters. This next round, I want to go. Ready to fight? Ready. Four. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, oh, oh, he's in real trouble now. Big right hand.
as could. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Down into his mount. He's gotta be careful here. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Under three minutes to go in round four. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter from very front to walk. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Now he's in trouble. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Once he got him cut, he recognized where he needs to be throwing these shots. And once again, he lands right on that cut. Big right hook there by the champ. Nice positional control here. You're good here, bro. Stay safe. Be smart. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meadow. He's got that arm in tight, DC. Right back. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Good solid strike on the ground. 20 minutes down, five to go. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice block. Unable to connect with the right. And now they're being thrown on both sides. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out, really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. He's out. What submission defense on this play? Get the half guard. 
nose guard. Nice transition. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Nermago Medov's in half goal. Get them out here. One minute to go in the fight. Well, he's got his back now. Nermago Medov's back in full mount. Great job finding his shots from the top position. He's got to start throwing down. Well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. He's been battered, he's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight, and you understood. All oh, back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 49-45, and 49-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Hermano Mena. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it to look dominant. He looked dominant tonight in all areas of mixed martial arts. There is no question who's going to get their hand raised tonight when they get to the center of the octagon.